Apple's had so many hits the last 15 years or so, it really seems cheap and small and petty to run down their duds. But boy, is it fun. I'm Brian Cooley with Top 5 Apple Flops. Ranking these is real subjective, so I went the way you would. Let's rank them by how much you can get for them on eBay. Here we go. The number five Apple flop is the Newton OS message pads. Now, this is going to raise hackles since descendants, iPhone and iPad, are now Apple's biggest business. But Apple made like six models of the message pad, and Motorola made some, and Sharp took a whack at them, and nobody could get it right. It was just this slow motion disaster. I recall when these were new, and they were scorned everywhere. And didn't they have Newton stores too? What a mess. Price-wise, these don't fetch a lot, 30 to 50 bucks for one on eBay. Number four, the Mac G4 Cube. We'd never seen a computer like this, and its short time in production keeps it that way. This silent, fanless monolith with a toaster slot on top for CDs was real different. But thanks to that odd shape, you couldn't really put any expansion cards in it back at a time when you actually cared about such things. And it was pricey, about 200 bucks more than a conventionally shaped Mac that had similar performance. Oh, and the cases often cracked, which is really annoying on a machine you pay top dollar for, for its looks. They made about 150,000 of these, so they aren't real hard to find on eBay, and they seem to fetch about 100 or 200 bucks. Number two, the Pippin. Recall this one? It was produced with Bandai of Japan, rolled out around 96, as a game console with a light version of System 7 on it as its OS. It was gutless, there was damn near nothing to run on it in terms of titles, and the price was like 600 bucks, about 850 in today's dollars. 42,000 or so were made, eBay prices top out around 400 bucks or so for a really clean unit. Number two is the 20th anniversary Mac. It was one of the first things Steve Jobs killed when he came back to the company, and I suspect he did it standing inside a pentagram, because this thing is so not him. Like all crap labeled executive, it's full of form over function. For $7,500, over $10,000 in today's money, you'd get an all-in-one design, okay, kind of cool, with a small 12-inch display, and beyond that, not much interesting. Oh, there was a Joey pouch disc tray in front, and buttons on the front panel arranged for looks instead of works. The whole thing came off like Sharper Image had a one night stand with Bang & Olufsen. And the 20th anniversary Mac was star-crossed from the beginning. It launched in 1997, Apple's 21st year. That said, you seem to be able to get about 700 bucks for a good complete one on eBay. Before I take you to the number one Apple flop, ranked by eBay price, let's consider one so awful and so unimportant, it doesn't even deserve a true spot on the list. That damn round USB puck mouse from the original iMac. Totally round, so you never knew which way to point it. Size, so only a raccoon could articulate it. And just ugly, with that bad late 90s semi-translucent plastic with Jolly Rancher color accents. This thing was a mess. I found a basket of 20 of them on eBay for 35 bucks. Overpriced. My number one Apple flop, Macintosh TV. I'd actually forgotten about this. This was the first black Mac. It was basically a Mac Performa that had a Sony Trinitron television bolted to it and a cable tuner inside. You could use it as a computer or switch to watching TV, but you couldn't watch TV in a window or anything cool like that. It made a mockery of the word integration. About 10,000 were made, so there's a handful of them sticking up eBay any given day at around $800. Now, for the brighter side of life, don't miss my other companion video to this, Top 5 Steve Jobs' Greatest Hits. That's also available at top5.cnet.com. I'm Brian Cooley. Thanks for watching.